guys, so we're gonna do another show and tell. And as you know, in our show and tells, we show you a fun new thing. So today we're gonna to be talking about velvet and Miss Jill here is our wool queen and she is going to show us how to emboss on that velvet. So we love to use velvet when we're working with wool because we love to introduce other textures to it. And so we're, I've got a small piece of velvet here and a rubber stamp and we're gonna go back to the ironing board and show you how to emboss velvet. I've got my iron here and it should be nice and hot. It's set at the wool setting. Um, and I'm gonna put my velvet side, or uh, the pretty side down. And I wanna put a stabilizer on it um, because when I go to applique it later, velvet just is, it moves easily and a stabilizer is gonna help you work with it a lot easier. Now normally when you press velvet, you really don't wanna push. I'm just lightly touching my iron to the, uh, stabilizer so that I don't ruin the nap of the velvet but when we emboss it's a different story I'm going to put this right on top of my my fun rubber stamp that I've got here and I'm going to try to center this over the design and then I'm going to spray it now if for some reason I had a big stamp and I did not cover my full stamp then I'd want to put a compressing cloth on top because I wouldn't want to put heat directly onto that rubber stamp as it is, I'm gonna just go ahead here and set that iron and apply some pressure and just hold it there for a minute. And I can kind of start to feel the fibers catch on that stamp and then I'm gonna press it. And when I pull it off the rubber stamp, there's my embossed velvet really simple but fun way to add texture to your project. 